integrating applications with uh, cloud sql so let's go ahead and uh, integrate one of the applications uh, into cloud sql uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use node.js to connect to cloud sql so that is an sample example we are going to uh, get it and use it so what you need to do is you need to create a cloud sql instance set the password like root password uh, create a db uh, set the environment variable enable cloud sql admin api if it is not yet done so and then write a program create a connections create a data select data and disconnect so let's go ahead and use one of the application which is again given by the google itself so what we are going to do is i already have this sample uh, downloaded okay which I'm going to use it and if you look at uh, the sample uh, the sample is here as well right but you can go to github directly and get the source code from there itself so these are the sample source code files which we are going to see it the main one is the server.js what it does but before we get there let's go back and browse some of the things which we need to do it first okay so first thing first we need to set up the cloud configure the cloud sql instance let me go ahead and launch and cloud sql we already saw how you can launch cloud sql but we are just going to launch it again if i don't have it I think I have it which is created for another okay I already have cloud SQL instance so let me just go ahead and okay so I have instance you can just go ahead and uh, create the instance the way we saw it already and then once the instance is created we are going to create a database so let me just go ahead and create a database web db is my database so web db is there next step is setting up your local environment i already have all this setup done uh, what you need to do is you need to download the proxy if you have not done so okay so i'm in the example directory here and i'm going to download the proxy okay proxy is there now next thing is you need to set the permission for the proxy to executable go and make that particular proxy executable and then execute the proxy okay so how you can execute the proxy is you need to provide the instance name and credentials file okay so what we have is i already have uh, the service account uh, for cloud SQL which I'm going to use it but I'm going to give a detailed demo in subsequent sections I don't want to get you bored uh, here but you can go ahead go ahead and create service account I already have service account and I already saved the key uh, in my directory I'm going to use the same key so I need to execute this cloud SQL command so the instance name if you want the instance name so that's the path of your key and the instance name is the name we can get it from cloud sql you can get the instance name from here so this is your instance name okay so i already have where is my proxy command just to save time i just have this particular key okay 
uh, for the service account, but it's not necessary. You can, you are anyways giving it to the cloud proxy when you are executing it and then the instance, okay? Okay, and I need to run it in the background so that I can. Okay, so it is running now. So second ex uh, command executed, ex exited, but uh, the old command is executing now. What is next? What I need to do next is I need to set up a different export variable. So you need to provide the user, which is root here, password, the password which you have set it, uh, SQL database, okay? So user, I already have, I did that some time back and just, so I can just go ahead and use this, okay. So user, password and database. And database with DB. This is not in my profile file, so every time when I exit, I need to set the connection. Okay, so the environment variable setup is done. What I need to do next is so it is explaining, so this is where it is getting used in your server.js. So environment variables. Uh, if at all you are deploying it, your application in standard dot standard uh, environment in App Engine, then you need to set this environment variable inside your uh, file. If at all you are using the Flex environment, you need to update that in Flex environment. Okay, running the code. So you want to run the code, you can just, what you can do is, first you need to create a table so that you, your visits can be stored there. So let's go ahead and create the table. So there is a command or script which is given, create table, you see that? You need to execute it. So node, create table.js. So in CE database is your web DB. Okay, so widgets table is created. So sometimes you face a problem like uh, you're not able to connect to your database. Uh, that is, that could be because your proxy is not running. So you need to make sure that your proxy is running. And once the proxy is running, it will definitely connect to your database using user ID password, okay? So the widgets table is created now. Let's go ahead and start npm start. So the application is started. Let's go ahead and browse. So the first visit, second visit. Let me go ahead. So I think there is a connection here. So you can see these two visits, okay? So I'm using WebDB, I'm using the same connection and I'm just hitting wizards command, okay? Let's go ahead and deploy this application into flexible environment. We just need one environment, so let me just kill this. Okay, and the command is gcloud app deploy. Here you need to provide the, uh, the YAML file, so gcloud app deploy and yaml file so you are going to deploy your application into standard oh, okay so your app engine is not started i usually switch it on and that's a good practice guys if at all you're not using it because uh, google will charge you if the application is running so application is running now let's go ahead and deploy this Yes. So 
it is going to take a while to deploy your application and make it ready so that you can use it. Okay. So here you see your application is deployed and it is serving the traffic and you should be able to see these many number of records in your database. So you see all those number of databases inside your uh, visits inside your database table. So that's how uh, the connection work guys um, using Node.js into your connecting to your Cloud SQL. The only program which you need to understand is I think this is standard Cloud Proxy. Uh, this is again standard uh, it, it just contained the dependencies which is which is uh, required for your applications to build it when it is pushed to app engine server j server dot js is your main program okay and create table is just to create uh, the visits table so if you look at server dot js the only thing which it does is it gets the visits so it is using Kinex uh, application or uh, the framework to connect the database uh, it's a database interface you can think of it's get the connection or the user ID password from the environment and it connects to MySQL. It inserts the visits and you can it can get the visits. It's a like list of visits and it will just print uh, it will put that list of features in the hash. and this will like create the visit whenever uh, you are hitting first time it will create the visit uh, and then it will insert that visit and it it can even display your visits so last 10 visits so that's all the program is all about uh, there is no authentication ma uh, standard authentication mechanism which we used uh, we used uh, uh, you know uh, the key uh, service account key uh, for the connection handling um, and that's it if you have any question around this one I'm just using the standard example because uh, guys if I if if I'm writing a new application altogether you will always need to look at uh, the steps uh, if at all there are some changes library libraries get deprecated um, your application is not work uh, working then you will not have any other ways to troubleshoot than just look at the course right and sometimes those course does not help uh, we are going to create a custom application uh, definitely end of this particular uh, course uh, as a separate section as an additional uh, you know uh, work for you guys but uh, it is not part of uh, you can think of uh, as a certification uh, but this course is not only for the certification but I'm going to add more section more and more sections as a sample course and sample application deployment uh, this was all about uh, the cloud SQL guys if you have any questions around it um, let me know otherwise you can move to the next lecture